and it goes off really well when you use a hand soap. Of course, it's under my nails right now, which we don't want. We have a towel right here, and I'm also going to use this towel to fix my eyebrows, like remove the product off of my eyebrows and maybe a little of my lips and a little bit here also if you hear people talking sometimes I'm literally in a busy casino slash hotel in Las Vegas so like there's gonna be some kind of noise I actually really like that when I'm sleeping because I'm like a scared piece of shit and I need some kind of like assurance that I'm not alone um, because like I just get scared so easily especially lately which I mean I know I have an anxiety disorder, panic disorder, whatever my doctor says but like does make my life easier now that I know that. Anyways, moving on, I'm using this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I've already been loving this too. Like, I love e.l.f. lately. For some reason, it's like it's very cheap and it works fine, like more than fine. And I learned the hard way that my face loves cheap products because um, I tried the new Super Goop um, Daily Moisturizer with, um, what's it called? SPF because like it's the new trend and oh, it's in Ulta Beauty and they said like oh this is really good it's like a rising thing and I tried it and it broke me out so much so I decided to try something else and then I tried CeraVe no, that's what I use now Cetapil, something like that Cetapil because um, I've heard a lot of good things about that too and it broke me out even more then I checked the ingredients and this stupid daily moisturizer has avocado oil in it and if there's one thing I'm allergic to it's avocado so like <laughs> makes sense it broke me out but like it was really painful like big like watery stuff like bumps on my head and it hurt so much sorry for that information but like watch out watch out for ingredients like i know i'm not doing good with fragrance in products so that's what i have to watch out for um so i'm back on my lovey CLV. the reason i wanted to change is because like my skin isn't perfect but it's okay like i'd rather have like an okay skin then that's not true i'd rather have a perfect face but i mean i'd rather have or stick to my okay face than having to figure out a better product and like get bad breakouts the whole time like it's not worth it for me like at some point my skin will clear up um, naturally, I hope um, because I'm getting older and I'm not I shouldn't be in puberty anymore but whatever anyways, I'm putting on blush right now from Essence the blush in number 30 breathtaking and it is breathtaking this is pretty also, I'm gonna remove this because we don't need that anymore but um, this blush is really nice. I'm gonna add a lot because 
I'll be in a club anyway, so no one sees my blush when it's dark. And in the clubs, I'll like you get hot and sweaty, so you'll get red cheeks, anyways. But my makeup is like the makeup I brought from home is disgusting, like the lid broke off and everything. So next is highlighter, which I've been using this by L'Oreal by Crea Cream. And actually I got this in like I think like 12 years ago. I shouldn't be using this anymore. I think it's so funny, like, I have the means to buy new products, but I'm like, why would I? It's like, this product is perfect, it does what it has to do, and I mean, it's even better than what it has to do. It's just so natural, it's like a cream highlight, and okay, this is tough with long nails, but like, look at that glow, it's so gorgeous. It's like a gold glow. Just put it on my cheekbones, my, under my eyebrows, my nose, bridge and tip, and sometimes on my lips as well. And that's it. <clears throat> so, for my daily makeup, um, I would just curl my lashes and add some lip balm and then I'm finished but we're going out so I'm gonna do something uh, for eyeshadow so let's see also how beautiful are these nails without the concealer but like these were literally stick on nails maybe like six dollars and they look gorgeous so I hate long nails, they're so inconvenient, so like for one night, this is perfect, I can just like take them off after, but for ASMR, this is also better because like my hands look more female. Without the nails, I have short little child hands, which are also nice, be positive. Um, anyways. What I've been up to is crazy actually, like it's been too much people, it's been too much. I'm, I'm done traveling, although I still have two weeks to go, like a little over a week, but like I'm done because someone flushed their toilet, excuse me. But I've seen so many places already in just a span of like two months. Let me get a little closer for this. Literally two months and a half, I've seen almost every big city in America. So I'm honestly very done with meeting people as it's been too much like I keep having to tell my story like what I've been up to and it's it's it gets repetitive like don't get me wrong I met a lot of nice people everywhere but at some point you just don't explain your story and you just want to go home and do nothing and or just like connect with your own friends again not keep on having to make new connections so I mean in the beginning I was really happy to meet some new people with the new or like the same goals because when you're traveling you stay in hostels at least I did 
and I also slept in my car, but that's a different story. But like, you meet very like-minded people, but at some point, like, you don't even know <laughs> who is texting you. Like, at some point, I got so many different people texting me that I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna have to like, let go of a few people, cause like, I cannot do this. <laughs> I'm just one person, I cannot text with like, 10 people at the same time. That's a lot for me, like, I like a small connection or a small group of people to be close with and honestly I found those people already, like, doesn't mean that I'm not open to meet new people anymore, but for now I'm good, like, I have my best friends in Belgium, um, that I have a really, really good friend in Houston and my favorite in Salt Lake City. I know she's watching this. I know it. You know who you are. I'm just like so happy that I decided to go to Salt Lake City and meet her because that was honestly the best time ever. So. I'm looking forward to going back there and hopefully maybe stay there for a bit longer, maybe live there but it all depends on what the future brings because you never know but yeah, it's been a crazy couple of weeks and I'm ready to go home but first I'll be going back to Oklahoma after my time in um, Las Vegas I'll go back to Oklahoma to park my car and fly back to Belgium um, I have a place in Oklahoma where I can park my car for free so that's why I'll be going back and that's also where my adventure started so it will be nice to like slow down again in Oklahoma, a place that I know so yeah, we'll see uh, how that'll go in the future I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I'm too focused on this eye look which is not turning out the best but we'll just keep on going maybe it'll turn out okay but yeah um, I'm just like ready to calm down again and just like see my family again and friends and just be relaxed and what is this oh my god <laughs> oh my god, let's try to fix this, like some kind of cut crease. Sometimes I just think I should do nothing with my face because I tend to ruin it with makeup instead of making it better. That looks better, but still. It'll be okay. But yeah, I'll tell you which places I've been to so far. First Oklahoma, then Washington, DC, Houston, Austin, which was terrible. Sorry for the people that live there, but like I didn't know what to do. I was alone and sad in a big apartment. And then I went to Albuquerque, which was creepy. Um, so yeah, I decided to not stay there overnight and go to a hostel a little further. And that was the best, nicest hostel ever. That far, because I went to different hostels after that were pretty nice too. 
but like I went to um, the hostel which had no electricity, no warm water. I don't know, sometimes I feel like people think I'm a stuck up person, but literally the hostel without water, warm water, and without electricity was my best experience. <laughs> so I am probably the opposite of stuck up. So that sounded stuck up. Never mind, I'll shut up about that. But um anyways, after that night I think I drove to the Grand Canyon after and that was weird because like yes it's crazy cool like it looks amazing the Grand Canyon looks crazy amazing but it didn't look real to me like it looked like I was watching a painting so I left pretty quickly I think I stayed there for like an hour and then I left because I was like I might as well just watch a picture it's the same thing so I think that's all right No one get too close to me, please. I just need eyeliner, that's the thing. I think the eyeliner would fix it. But yeah, um, I went to the Grand Canyon and then um, I went to... Which other place did I go to? Oh, after I went to Salt Lake City, but first I slept like in a parking lot of Walmart in my car and I met a girl was traveling around with her mom which was pretty cool we're still texting um, and then I went to Salt Lake City had an amazing time um, I'm gonna do this eyeliner and I'll come back to you after because I cannot talk while I do this so for my out outline outline of the eyeliner I use a black eyeshadow by Essence, which is also broken. Essence needs to just step up their packaging game because all the rest is perfect. But the packages always break. And I use this little eyeliner brush as well. And now I'm gonna go over my eye outline because you can see it's not blacked out with this like Essence, the dip waterproof eyeliner so I'll see you after too okay, I am literally sweating after doing that but like, I think I did a pretty good job eyeshadow looks awful but whatever, I'll take it um, I mean, in real life it looks kind of okay and like this too, but it's not perfect but like I said, good is good enough and it doesn't have to be perfect so now I'm going to curl my lashes let me curl yours as well and then I'm gonna add some mascara thing is like with going out I'm like tired by the time I have to leave the house just want to sleep but do it for the birthday anyways I was talking about my trip through the United States which has been a whole lot and so after Salt Lake City I went to Lake Tahoe um, first in Nevada and then to the California part and I stayed in a really really nice hostel I think it was called Mellow Mountain Hostel it was just 
um, over the border to California from Nevada and I met some nice people there too and I actually like ran into someone I met in Oklahoma there how funny is that? like we were both like what are you doing here? it was really funny and we had a great time um, but yeah after that I went to San Francisco and I honestly didn't have a fun time because like I stayed with a friend of a friend and the guy I was staying with like he made me very uncomfortable he didn't do anything to me don't worry but like I think it was pretty clear that I was not flirting or trying to do something but for some reason a lot of guys think I'm flirting while I'm just being friendly um, so yeah I left early because like I was very uncomfortable so I decided to go to LA already so first I stayed in downtown LA and that was horrible like I didn't know downtown wasn't the place to be I thought like oh this is the center of LA let me just like stay there but I learned that the center of LA does not exist and it's just different parts and areas so um I canceled my hotel after two nights and I went to a hostel in Venice Beach and that was amazing like oh my god I had such a fun time met a lot of nice people um, two of them I'm still talking to and after that oh by the way this mascara is also by Essence I love this mascara it's my favorite Maximum Definition Volume Mascara it's like three euros it's like three and a half dollars and so I went to LA and Venice Venice was amazing my friend that I met in Oklahoma another friend um, he was in San Diego and he had like a few days off his uh, volunteer job in San Diego so he came down to LA and we had like three days together which was really fun and then we drove together to um, San Diego I dropped him off at his hostel and I stayed in a different one and I really loved that other hostel I met such an amazing person there like um, she I don't think she watches my videos but we still talk to this day and she's like really cool she i had like a major anxiety, anxiety attack in the hostel for some reason and um, she saw it and she helped me so much like wow i was so grateful for her um, apparently she had suffered an anxiety disorder as well so like she knew exactly what to do and it sucks that there's so many people go through this but it's really nice like to have someone help you out with that because it can be an absolute nightmare but yeah that brought us really close and we spent a whole week together and now i want to go see her because i miss her and i miss my friend in Salt Lake City as well so yeah we'll see what the future brings after let me think like after San Diego I went to Big Bear because like 
San Diego was very busy and I felt like I needed some rest. So I decided to go to Big Bear. It was on my list to visit anyways. So I thought like, let's just go there to the middle of nowhere, like in a nice hostel. And what is happening to this thing? Ew, that has to be thrown in the trash. But like, um, in that hostel, <laughs> I didn't get rest because <laughs> I met like three amazing people too. Like, they were a friend group, and I was like, "You look so cool." So I talked to them, and we ended up spending like three days together, um, which was really fun. And when they left, I had some time to relax and like do nothing. So that was good. Um, and then after Big Bear, I went to Las Vegas and I stayed in a hostel the first two nights and that was a horrible experience. Like it was so, so gross. Like, uh, like there were bugs on the floor and it was in a sketchy area. And also, the beds were so hard, it gave me a sore neck and pain arms and in my joints everywhere. And the air conditioning probably hadn't been cleaned in a long time, which caused me to get a cold. So yeah, I got a cold and I feel like it's finally like going down. Um, but it was really bad, like my nose was stuffed 24-7 um, and sometimes it was running so I'm really happy that that is in control to go party so yeah, that was a whole lot and then I decided to um, go to a hotel for like three nights uh, because when I party it's probably better if I stay in a hotel because like you probably will need some sleep at some point and in a hostel it's too busy to get a nice rest on the daytime so got this hotel and it's, it's pretty nice the reviews were horrible but I thought like I'm just gonna see it for myself because it was pretty affordable and actually it's not bad, like, I don't get where the bad reviews are coming from um, I just lined my lips with a candy K lip liner from Kylie yeah, which I got from a viewer and I still use it to this day so thank you now I'm going over my lips just slightly with this baby lips which is they don't even sell baby lips anymore it's sweet apple which i'm sad about because like i used to collect baby lips if you've been following me for a long time you know but yeah um, i'm in this hotel and it's pretty nice um it's not that far from the strip it's like still 10 minutes drive but um, the Venetian has free parking, so I'm good. And actually, tonight I'm going out with a party promoter, which I met through someone in a club in San Diego. Um, and I'll get free entrance and free drinks, but I don't drink, so I'll get free soda and then he'll pick me up and he'll probably drop me off again so that will be nice to like not have to drive I don't know for sure yet if I'll let him drop me off because he's gonna drink probably and I don't want to be in a car with a drunk so yeah we'll see also the eyeshadow palette I used is by Wet n Wild and walking on eggshells color 
and I feel like we are pretty much done here like the powder you saw like coming off my hair is baby powder because um, I washed my hair like an hour ago but it's so yellow on the roots and silver shampoo doesn't help so I basically dress and I'll come back after because then you'll see the final look also I learned that my hair is naturally like wavy I'm not gonna brush it I think because like otherwise it would look fluffy but like who is she? Who is she? Like, I really love how this turned out Thank you. 